what's good y'all it's your boy ross back in again with another video so we got some unfortunate news bray wyatt was released from wwe i'm not sure why this happened why this has happened um but uh yeah wwe has decided to part ways uh, with bray wyatt so we're gonna check this article out from wrestlinginc.com see what information they have wwe announced bray wyatt has been released wwe has come to terms on this on the release of bray wyatt we wish him the best in all his future endeavors wwe wrote it was recently reported that wwe was keeping Wyatt off tv for the time being for reasons that were not related to creative he had been away from uh, the ring since WrestleMania 37, losing to Randy Orton. He made an appearance on Raw the next Friday, uh, the next night for uh, for the Firefly Funhouse segment, indicting he was getting ready for a fresh start. Early this week, a photo was shown of Wyatt looking to be in great shape. Wyatt first signed with WWE back in 2009, along with the Wyatt family and the Fiend stories. Wyatt was a one-time WWE champion and a two-time Universal champion. Yeah, and this is uh, on WWE's official Twitter. Uh, we have come terms on we have come to terms on the release of Bray Wyatt. We wish him the best in all his future endeavors, man. And that's all the information we have right now. Uh, this is sad. This is one. I just don't get it, man. It's like WWE, bro. What are you guys doing? You had something great in Bray Wyatt that you have ultimately killed. Had one of the most unique, crazy, like, storylines, like, character-wise. Like, we hadn't seen a character so unique and different like this since, like, The Undertaker. Of course, people will compare him to the Boogeyman. But the Boogeyman really didn't, like get over like that he was just more of like a uh an interesting gimmick for funny little segments backstage brave's gimmick was it had some meaning behind it because it was portrayed as all the torture and the, the bs that bray had dealt with as the the bray wyatt gimmick as you know what i'm saying as him going through that and taking those major losses it just it created the fiend that we know now and ultimately his gimmick got taken over by Alexa Bliss. So I'm just like, yo, this is, yeah, man, this sucks, bro. Because he, you can tell he puts time and effort into the, his characters and developing them just for WWE to put him in ridiculous situations booking-wise just for him to lose. So, yeah, man, I, I, I wish, wish him the best of luck in his future endeavors. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe he does go into AEW because it seems like, all the wrestlers that don't really get the proper booking they end up going to aew so i don't know maybe he does end up in aew and you know maybe we get a variation of the fiend i don't know if bray wyatt owns copyright of the fiend character but we may get some variation of it he may go to aew and may get a better shot may get a better chance may get a better opportunity than he did in wwe but <clears throat> wwe they really just dropped the ball and this is not the first time and it won't be the last time that they drop the ball when it comes to creating new compelling stars and booking them correctly so hey man i i wish the best for him bro oh uh, and it sucks because we literally just talking checked out a video on why the fiend gimmick is not working and now he's gone so but hey man Comment down below. Let me know. Do you, do you guys feel like this was a big mistake on WWE's part? Do you guys feel like he's gonna go to AEW? And um, would you guys ever want to see the Fiend back in WWE? To be honest with you, the way they booked them in this whole situation right now, I, I don't think he needs to be back in WWE for a very long time because they clearly don't know how to utilize him correctly. So we'll see where his future endeavors lead him to. It may lead him to AEW. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 50K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.